In this tutorial, you will learn about object destructuring. Object destructuring in JavaScript is a feature that allows you to extract the properties of an object into variables. This can be useful for assigning the properties of an object to variables in single statement. Let's understand it with one example. We will add one object with the name person. Here we have created one person object with two properties, first name and last name. To store these properties value in a variable, we used to write person dot first name. This is for accessing the first name of this person. And to store it in variable, we used to write let and one variable name like f name is equal to person dot first name like this if i want to store the last name we will add another variable name l name person dot last name so this is the previous syntax to store the object properties value in a variable but es6 introduces the object destructuring syntax that provides an alternative way to assign properties to an object variables here is the syntax for object destructuring. We will add let and in this curly braces we will add property name and value, another property name and value and here we will add the object name. That's it. So let's assign the properties of this person object in variables using the object destructuring. Here we will add person and here we will add the property name so the property name is first name and this first name will be stored in the variable called f name now add one comma and write the another property name and for this property name again we need one variable so the variable name is last name so this is the simple syntax of destructuring. We can write the property name and value to store the object properties value in variables. Now if I check the value stored in this fname variable or lname variable, we will just add log fname. You can see it is displaying Elon. If I add L name here will be capital N and you can see the output musk. We can further simplify this syntax. Suppose you want to add the variable name same as the object's property name. Like object property name is first name and last name and our variable name is also first name and last name. Then here we don't have to write the variable name. Just write first name and last name and then object. Now to print this we will add console.log first name it is printed here in this console. Now let's add last name you can see the last name in this console. So this is the simple syntax of object destructuring. Here in this object we have only two properties but what will happen if I add one more property in this object destructuring syntax. Let's add one age that is not available in this person object. Then what will happen? Let's see the output. If I add console.log age, it is printing undefined because this age property is not available in this person. So when you assign a property that does not exist in an object to a variable using the object destructuring, the variable is set to undefined. Now in this object destructuring, we can add the default values also. Suppose here we don't have the age value, so we can add like this age is equal to 18. So this is the default value of the age variable. If the property is available in this object, it will display the actual value. And if it is not available, it will display this default value 18. So you can see the output. It is displaying 18 because the default value for the age is 18. Now 
Suppose this age is available here in this object. We are adding age 52. Now what will be the output? You can see the output it is displaying 52 because it will ignore the default value here we already have age declared in the person object. So this age variable will store the actual value of the property which is 52. So this is all about object destructuring. Now let's learn about object literal syntax extensions in ES6. To create one object we used to write like this const person and first name and last name. So this is the object literal syntax to create an object with the key value pairs. But here if I type one variable let first name equal to Elon and last name Musk. Here we have two variables first name last name so we can simply add first name comma last name we don't have to write the key values in this object we will simply add the variable name and this person will store this information as key value pair now if you try to print this person let's add console.log person you can see it is displaying first name Elon, last name Musk. So we are just adding the variable name in this person object and this person will store the variable name and value also as a key value pair. So this is all about objects in JavaScript. In the next tutorial we will learn about JavaScript classes. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Great Stack to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.